My name is uh, Dirk Pleiter from the Juli Supercomputing Center. I'm working there in a uh, research area which I call application-oriented technology development. The goal there is to bring together the knowledge of applications and the research on computer architectures and technologies to establish a co-design process which will allow us to uh, achieve at some point an exascale computer infrastructure. The Uli Supercomputing Center is one of the largest computing centers in Europe. Our mission is, first of all, to provide leading-edge computing facilities for academic research, but more and more important in the future is how we cope with data storage and data movement. Research in the area of uh, neuroscience and medicine uh, has been uh, becoming a key focus at the Jülich Research Lab. Uh, we have two very challenging projects in Jülich. One is uh, trying to uh, establish a new, very detailed three-dimensional model of the brain by reconstructing the brain from two-dimensional images. And that is actually quite a compute intensive uh, application because you have to imagine that you have thousands of images, two dimensional images, and now you have to stack them on top of each other in the right way. And that is not that easy because in order to generate these slices, you slightly damage also the slices. So you have to do quite some effort to reconstruct it. But it is, if you like, to a large extent, image processing. A completely different challenge is if we look what people want to achieve with brain simulations. So what they try to achieve is by constructing a network which is of a similar complexity as the network which we have in our brains. So each neuron in our brains is connected with 10,000 neighbors. And so there is a very high complexity in there. And to simulate this complexity, it requires a very high level of scalability and it requires, in particular, a very high memory footprint. So this is a very good example of the new type of HPC applications which we see emerging, which are, say, not limited by the compute performance, but which is very critically limited by the memory footprint which is offered within our systems. Currently, the storage systems are largely based on disk technology and as a back-end still also tape technology. This technology is not going to provide us with the bandwidth which we will need in the future. And here we expect that any collaboration with Lenovo will be very fruitful because Lenovo is holding key technologies in this area. And I also expect that here a co-design approach is the best approach in order to understand what is the best solution.